know this is not the most exciting shot to learn, but it is one of the most important, so let's go over it in detail. This serve is used mainly in singles, and the reason why it's a good serve is because it sends the opponent right to the back, and it causes the shuttle to fall straight down. The key to this serve is a full body rotation for power. A world class serve requires two ingredients. Number one is perfect coordination, and number two is timing. The long serve is one of the most technically complicated shots in terms of its biomechanics, and it's also underused. Being the first shot of the rally, uh, you want to make sure that you get this shot right because it'll give you an advantage to get ahead on the opponent. So stand with your feet perpendicular to one another in a very natural posture. Don't stand with your feet too wide apart. Just stand naturally, nice and relaxed as if you were just standing there. Your front toes should be pointing forward and your back foot should be perpendicular and pointing to the side, so both feet should make a T. So start with your front toe up. Put your weight on the back foot, and then transfer your weight forward by bringing the back heel up. So front toe is up, then transfer your weight forward, and then the back heel comes up. So toe up, heel up, toe up, heel up. And just rock back and forth nice and comfortably. Make sure you don't force it. Just nice and relaxed, rock back and forth. So here's the front view. You can see that by bringing that heel up, it brings my hip forward. So again, from the side view, as that back heel comes up, my right hip also comes forward and allows me to face the opponent face forward. So bringing that back heel up is key. That's what's gonna allow you to rotate your body through the serve. If you keep that back heel fixed to the ground, there's no way you're gonna be able to bring that hip forward and you won't be able to rotate. So bring that heel up, rotate your hip, rotate the upper torso, and the finish should look like a golf swing. When you set up to drop the shuttle, make sure you're dropping it in front of your front foot. Start with your racket nice and high, and keep a little bit of a bend in your elbow and in your wrist. So here I'm showing you the forehand grip. Don't hold the racket on a backhand grip with the thumb in line with the shaft of the racket. Make sure you're holding it on a forehand grip. So it's the traditional V grip as you can see here. So the point of the V should be pointing to your opposite shoulder. And this is the side of the thumb that should be in contact with the racket. This is to make sure that you're holding the forehand grip. And when you hold the shuttle, don't hold it like this. Don't hold it from the feathers. And don't grab it like this and suffocate it. Make sure that you're pinching it right around the cork. All right, let's go over where you drop the shuttle and the point of contact. So you drop the shuttle about a racket length away from the toe. And also stand about a racket length away from the short service line and stand right next to the center line. Notice here that when I'm bending over, I don't support myself with my hand. This is in order to stay strong, so I make a habit of this. Practice this, put your racket down, and see if you can drop the shuttle on the head of the racket. So contact out in front. Make sure you try to hit over the opponent, and at the point of contact, make sure your arm is straight. The arm should be at about a 45 degree angle. That's the optimal angle. Don't hit with a horizontal trajectory. If you drop the shuttle between the feet, you'll end up making a horizontal trajectory and the shuttle is going to go straight into the net. So toe up, heel up, contact out in front and aim straight up. Focus on the height of the trajectory. Make sure you follow through. This is an important exercise for the serve, but also generally for badminton. So do this a lot. Here's a side view from the left. So toe up, heel up, transferring my weight forward. Toe up, heel up, my hip comes forward. And a side view from the right. If you're a very beginner, do this. You can bend your elbow, tuck it right in, tap the shuttle three times, and then give it a hit. 
So don't worry about all that stuff I was talking about just now. Just bend your elbow and tuck it in. Once you start to progress, you can start taking bigger and bigger swings. You can start rocking back and forth. Slowly start straightening out your arm. But be confident. Use up lots of space. Spread out your arms. So you can see him slowly rocking back and forth, toe up, heel up, using up more space. When you serve, really important to take your time. Take a deep breath before you serve and concentrate. And focus on the height of the trajectory. And then aim and fire. And there's the ready position. That's the kind of position you should be in after you serve. You get back to the center, feet wide apart. Get down low, you'll be able to cover more court that way. So world-class standard serve. The serve should land very close to that back line, as close to the back line as possible. So that was a decent serve. That one was all right. I think it might have landed out, but still pretty good if it landed straight on the line. That one is short. That would get smashed for sure. And then that one kind of in between the two tram lines, that was all right. And here, this one, I think that was a little bit short. So three out of five, not bad, but still need to practice. So if you like this video and you want to learn more, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.